Okay, today I'm going to present a topic related to research into practice. Does research have an impact on our teaching practice? We're going to see this topic, uh, understanding grammar teaching and grammar learning. It's important to say that nowadays, some teachers continue teaching grammar as it was in the traditional way, giving them isolated grammatical structures, giving them exercises to fit in, and, and they do that in a non-interrogative way. The first category we want to analyze here is on interface position. The authors here are Quashin, who has said that giving students comprehensible input, comprehensible environment, as they had during their learning process of their native language, was the best strategy to do that they can learn the second language. However, some authors, as Wai and McLaughlin, has said that it's important to give students feedback. They need to understand how is going um, their learning process. And other authors uh, show like how we are witness that this theory has, that is Haraway and Swain who has said that some students uh, who learn the language through this theory, questions theory, uh, through the years, uh, they continue uh, making fundamental errors in grammatical form. Why? Because nobody corrected them. Nobody gave them feedback about the process. In this category, we also have Jen and Sima, uh, who um, discovered that today some teachers and students consider that teaching grammar is important, that it's necessary and is effective for the learning process. Okay, some teachers depend on an educational system because these institutions maybe need to achieve some goals, um, grammar-based uh, examinations, that maybe these examinations are um, from the country or, or international um, teaching in the school is um, modified, taking into account those goals. Okay, a second category is Form focus strategy or perspective. In this perspective, we have authors as long who says that they understand grammar why they are communicating. Other author as Espada has said that when they understand the grammar, they understand the errors they make. So how how can we, they get that through explicit knowledge? They need to understand the rule to understand if they are making a mistake or not. Finally, yes, two strategies we have here are task. Um, Mekli has said that students who perform tasks can assist the grammar structures. And why say that um, salient input, we can do it, for example, by highlighting grammar structures in a written passage, for example. Okay, to conclude this part, we have the last category that is reconceiving grammar. And here we have uh, authors as Lers and Freeman who said that it's important to understand uh, the form of the grammar and the meaning of the grammar, but more important of that, or no, also important as those aspects, the use uh, of grammar in text that is related to the pragmatics and to understand what is the communicative purpose behind this, the grammatical structure, why I'm learning this. It's important to understand also that grammar is all, always evolving, that as due to the creativity of humans, we are in a constant change, and uh, the way we make meaning is through the interaction with others. In conclusion, I can say that it's very important to make research, to understand our teaching practice, but it is our responsibility as teachers to understand what is the best way um, that our students uh, learn and acquire all that knowledge. But the most important thing here is that they understand why they are learning that. What is the communicative purpose behind that? They, can I use this structure in an informal context, in a formal context? And understanding all that behind of the grammar is the way that they are going to, to do a, a good um, uh, performance of the second language. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Lara.